Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to use C++ and GLFW to render a window. And this will be a part of multiple videos following how to make a sort of game or game engine in OpenGL. So let's have a look on what are we going to need. The first thing is that we need a good code editor. So I am going to use Visual Studio Code. Then we also need a build system, although you can do it without it, but I'm going to use it. This is CMake. Then you need something to compile a project. I'll be using MinGW. Then we need git uh, so that we can get glfw and um, we will be cloning glfw's source code using it. And we'll come back to this in, um, later in the video. So let's create our project. So we'll open the folder and we'll create a new directory. We will add this directory and the first thing we will do is that we'll create a main.cpp. So let's first, just for a test, write the basic hello world program. So this is our program. Now we need to set up CMake to compile this. So we'll create a new file called CMake lists.txt. And inside this, we will add a few statements for setting up CMake for the first time. CMake minimum required version 3.14. Then we need to create the project. So project, this is going to be OpenGL tutorial. Then add executable and call project name. Now we need to add the files that we are going to use. So we are going to add main.cpp. And now what we can do is that we can open the command line and we can simply call cmake dot but when we do this, it is going to create Visual Studio files, which we don't want. We want to create make files. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add minus G, capital G, and we're going to say min GW make files. All right, so we finally have our make file built. So we can call min GW 32 make. And this is going to compile a make file and we finally have what we need so i'm going to say and that is going to print hello so we basically have our project set up so let's start writing some glfw code before that we need to get glfw source code for us so we are going to copy this so now we need to um, initialize git so git init so then we will run git submodule add link to the glfw repository which is right here and the folder name and when you run this this is going to add glf basically this entire repository to our project over here till the time it is doing that we can set up glfw to work with our project so the first thing that we need to do is tell cmake that there is something called glfw around here so add subdirectory the glfw slash directory then we need to also tell CMake that we need to include and link it. So target include directories that is going to be our project name public all caps followed by glfw. We'll copy this line and instead of include directories, we are going to say link libraries. All right, so we, I, I think we have a good setup over here. So we'll just, we'll run CMake again. And what it will do is that it will um, set up our project so that it can use GLFW. All right, the setup is complete. We can start coding with the GLFW now. So we can do hashtag include, and we have to write GLFW slash GLFW. 3.h now we can remove this print statement and we are going to create the glfw window object so that is glfw window pointer to the window because that is how it works now we need to check and initialize glfw so if glfw init so basically if this is not true if glfw is not successfully initialized 
what we want to do is that we want to see out std see out glfw not initialized and then we can also do return minus one now we can finally start creating the window so we can say window equals to glfw create window we need to give it some properties like width and height so let's make it a 800 by 450 window and the title can be something like OpenGL tutorial and then there are two things that we need to tell it but we for right now are just going to pass zero because they are not really that important at this point okay now we need to check whether the window was successfully created so we can do simply by if if window is not true then we can say std c out and then we can also return minus one so now we need to create something called the context so we can say glfw make context current without this your glfw will just break and it will be awful so we can just pass in our window and that will be it by going into a while loop a permanent while loop and say glfw poll events and glfw swap buffers into also pass window over here and at the end when this loop is over we might want to say glfw terminate so we finally have everything set up so we can go back to our terminal run cmake and then run mingw32 make all right so this is done so we can now finally run our application and we get our window right here in all its glory but one thing is you will notice you cannot close it and that is because we haven't told this window how to close we are just running it in an infinite loop and the way you close it is by control c over here so in order to tell it how to close we need to use what is called should close if you type over here glfw should close window should close and pass in the window it will tell you this should close would be true whenever you select this button over here so you want to invert it by adding this um, exclamation mark over here so this will be now false whenever that button is clicked so we can just build it again and then run it and you'll see right here when we click this it goes off so that is it for today.